What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's doing good. Um, debated whether I wanted to do this video or not this month, uh, but I started to do the analysis and I was just like, what the hell? Uh, so again, these are the top 10 cards that at, from September 15th to October 15th have seen the sharpest decline and the sharpest rise. Uh, now I'm looking at cards that are obviously within my collection. Um, there are a bunch of cards that I don't own, so I'm not doing analysis on those. But at least, hopefully this gives you guys sort of an idea of what's happening in the market. Um, also just wanted to uh, say congratulations to the uh, the Rays and the Dodgers, uh, the two number one seeds. And uh, as you guys can imagine, um, both those teams, you know, the players on both those teams have seen a significant increase. Now, I don't have a ton of cards uh, from uh, either of those teams, especially like high-end stuff, but um, if you own Corey Seager, uh, which uh, Pepino Man is probably really happy, um, he has been fantastic the, uh, this playoff. Uh, Freddie Freeman, uh, another guy that's having a great playoffs. Um, let's see, who else? Um, Cody Bellinger just hit a home run last night um, to win the game uh, in Game 7, but he's kind of had a, a, a tougher playoff. Um, Julio Urias, um, so, so guys like that. But uh, the, the guy that really jumps out more than anybody that has uh, clearly gotten the biggest uh, increase over the last couple of weeks is this guy, Randy Arazarina. Um, this guy has just been... Unbelievable for the Rays uh, has basically come out of nowhere, at least from my perspective. Maybe you guys are really familiar with Randy Rosarina, and you knew that and you saw this was coming. Um, Got to give credit to Parlay J. He uh, called this um, a couple weeks, you know, right before um, he really started to take off. Uh, the guy has been unbelievable in the in the playoffs, and um, I <laughs> just because uh, of the great playoffs that he has, I think he had like eleven RBIs during the regular season. So, you know, I, I wasn't expecting it. Maybe you guys were. Um, but I went digging for uh, this particular, because he, he was in my commons. Uh, so I was able to dig this card out, um, able to dig this card out, uh, pretty neat. And then I was able to pull out one of the the tops card, uh, the Randy Arazarina uh, tops card. This is part of 2020 Tops Series 2, I believe. Let's take a quick look. Uh, oh, Series 1. Okay. <laughs> so this is part of Series 1. Um, and then, of course, the Sapphire uh, version of him with the Rays is really taken off. So congrats to anybody that owns uh, any big cards from uh, him. And uh, he has just really uh, exploded uh, during these playoffs. So um, so if you see those cards, you prob probably a good time to sell. Uh, you know, if, if you have a lot of those those cards I just mentioned of, of those guys, uh, because they are never going to be any higher than what we're seeing right now, um, especially if they if one of those guys uh, wins a World Series, whether it be Corey Seager, Bellinger, uh, Araz Arena, and um, and I'm sure there's a bunch of guys that I miss. But anyway, um, here are my top ten. I'm going to go kind of back and forth. So at number ten, cards going down, and I and I feel like this is in every single video. Um, this card has just gone crazy to the point where I, I actually saw this card at one point uh, sell for eleven thousand um, dollars. It is now down to a seventy one hundred dollar card. That is a twenty two percent decrease from September. So Tom Brady now with uh, the Buccaneers. Uh, they won yesterday, but mainly based on their defense. Um, but uh, this card has taken a, a big hit. It's been very crazy to own this card. Um, but uh, now it's down 22%. And my top 10, uh, number 10 in terms of cards going down. Cards going up, and this is, um, you're going to see this over and over again. And this has been the theme um, and this is not a surprise, guys. If you've been paying attention, basically what happens is uh, in about October, I guess it started earlier from my perspective, um, around October and on, uh, modern cards will see a significant decrease and vintage cards will start going up because people will start uh, paying less and less attention to modern and going towards vintage. And then as the season approaches again in spring, we'll see the modern cards go up and the vintage cards go down. Um <clears throat> But I think a lot of this, um, at number 10, by the way, is all three of these Mickey Mantle cards. Just Mickey Mantle cards 
Um, all of these are up uh, anywhere between 30 and 36% since, since September. So this is the 64 mantle, the 61 mantle, and the 58 mantle. Um, shouldn't come out as a big surprise. I think a, a bigger part of it might be the fact that all five of these legendary players uh, you see in the background passed away. And I think there's a lot of people that are getting sentimental that uh, want um, some of the cards from, you know, the from the 60s and 50s. And, um, you know, that that might be a part of the push for some of this vintage. But um, you're going to see if, if you are a big fan of modern and not a fan of vintage, you may want to turn away from this channel because it's going to be that's going to be the theme of this video. Um, at number nine is this uh, Buster Posey. Um, I don't know if he even really played this year, but uh, he's kind of fading into obscurity. But good card to buy right now. Um, you know, Buster Posey um, is definitely a borderline Hall of Famer, uh, winning, uh, what was it, two or three championships with the Giants. So um, really cool card to own. This is the Bowman Sterling Refractor and a pristine 10. Um, at number nine on cards going up is the 39 Play Bowl Joe DiMaggio. Uh, this card is up 36% since September, so just a huge rise in value. And that I think that was actually a 36% increase uh, looking at the PSA 5. Uh, so this was like, in, just to give you guys an example, this was going for about 1800 uh, I saw the latest sale at around $2,500 um, for this card. And again, obviously Joe DiMaggio hasn't done anything between uh, September and October, but people are focusing on vintage. Uh, at number eight is the LeBron James, which continues to be on my cards going down uh, at $8,500 in August and down to $3,700 in October. That is a 26% decrease. Um, of course, a lot of people are uh, do not like him getting involved in a lot of the political stuff. And um, it would, it, you know, it's crazy to see his card down 26% after he just won his uh, third championship with three different te teams uh, winning a championship with the Lakers and his card is down 26%. So that's kind of crazy. Um, very much the opposite of what you're seeing with uh, guy, you know, MLB players that are in the playoffs right now. Um, all right. At number eight going up is the 74 tops. Dave Winfield. Uh, this is up 36%. This is the PSA nine. I've really noticed um, you know, more of the, the high end stuff, uh, this one, uh, for over a thousand dollars, um, which is kind of crazy cause it was selling, um, you know, somewhere in the $650 range just a couple of months ago. And obviously Dave Winfield hasn't done anything since then. So that's at number eight, um, at number seven for cards going down, this continues to be kind of an odd card that I, I guess people just are not interested in. Uh, this is the 89 Classic Griffey. Uh, this has gone from an $85 card in September to a $62 card in October. That is a 27% decrease on the Griffey. Um, at number seven on cards going up, and again, just a random card uh, that I just looked up. Uh, I saw this card <coughs> in a PSA 3 go, go for as much as $93. And this is just a PSA 3, guys, of a 53 Warren Spawn, really kind of an ugly card, but <laughs> uh, put it in there uh, at number seven. Um, at number six, the Fernando Tatis complete set card. Um, this card went way up, um, hit, hit as high as $90 <coughs> in September and is down to $60. So it's a 33% decrease um, in one month. On the other end of that, uh, at number six, just another, you know, similar to the Dave Winfield high end vintage rookie card. Um, this card is up uh, 56%. I had to look at that twice. Um, this card was uh, about going for about $1,800. It would recently went as high as $2,800 uh, in a PSA 8. So that's a 56% increase in one month. So yeah, these vintage cards are going crazy. And I think you're seeing it across the sports. It's not just baseball. I just happen to own a lot of baseball, but you're seeing Vintage cards, baseball, football, basketball, uh, soccer um, have gone way up. Although soccer, in certain cases, have gone down because because of the spike that they, that hit. Um, all right, at number five, cards going down. Uh, the Juan Soto uh, batting, which is kind of odd because the guy was uh, fantastic during the regular season. 
Uh, but this card is down 34%. The only thing I can think of here as to why it would be down is that people are really starting to pay attention to the pop reports. And when there's, you know, over 15,000 of these in a PSA 10, it's just, there's just so much supply. And, um, and that's the only thing I can think of. But this card is down to $174 from a $266 card. Um, and that is a 34% decrease on the Juan Soto. All right, cards going up. Um, I, the, this is the only card uh, in my collection that uh, made it into the top 10 from Modern. Uh, and this is the Freddie Freeman, uh, who will likely win the National League MVP, I think. Um, he was also fantastic in the playoffs. I know the Braves just got eliminated, but he I think he hit like over 350 in the playoffs. Uh, I think something like 390. Um, so this card is up 56%. And this is, you know, um, forget about the grade. If you buy this non-graded, it's up 56% to like um, about a $137 card. So pretty awesome there. All right. Um, now we're in uh, top four. Uh, so number four going down is the Aaron Judge in a PSA 10. Uh, this is down 39%. Ouch. Um, this card took a uh, I think it went up a lot when Judge was about to make his comeback. Uh, and then the Yankees, of course, got eliminated, and Judge didn't do much in the playoffs. So th I'm sure there was a, a lot of disappointment there, and that's why the card's down. Um, at number four going up is the Sandy Koufax rookie. So this card is up 60%, um, and this is in a 3.5. I'm not really sure why the Koufax rookie, and I, I give it again, I'll just chalk it up to vintage cards Rookie high-end stuff is just uh, really going up a lot in value. A lot of people are taking that modern money and putting it into vintage, which makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, it's a beautiful card. Um, 55 tops Sandy Koufax, and it's up 60% from last month. All right, guys, getting into the top three cards, and I got to admit, guys, this one hurts. <laughs> Um, this is the Sapphire Tatis, which I've talked a lot about on this channel over the last couple of months, down 41%. So this card was going for as much as $3,300 in September and is now can be had for about $1,900. So that is a 41% decrease. That is almost $1,500 loss <laughs> in one month on a card that I pretty much just bought a couple months ago. Um, and so that one hurts. Um, now it's gone below where I bought it at, uh, which is always, you know, you want to obviously uh, pay lower than what it goes for, but um, hopefully we'll see this card go back up again. Uh, but for whatever reason, the Tatis Jr. card uh, is way down from the, the prior month. Um, number three uh, is uh, going up again, random. Um, I think a lot of people are putting their money into, into vintage. And if you're going to put your money into vintage, why not Ty Cobb T206? Uh, Ty Cobb, the biggest name of the early 1900s. Uh, T206 set being the most important set of the, uh, you know, 1910 to 1920 period. Um, well, to be honest with you, <laughs> the early 1900s until you get to like 52 tops. Um, so the T206 set, uh, portrait red background. Uh, this card is up. Let's see here. Um, Ty Cobb is up 73%. Oh my goodness. <laughs> From a $2,800 card to almost a $5,000 card, a 73% increase. Good. Jeez. All right. Um, at number two, uh, cards going down, uh, the Shohei Otani. Uh, this card is down 43%. No surprise, Otani, tough year. Sapphire is another interesting story. I really think that Topps really screwed up. 2020 top Sapphire. Um, I know that they felt that they could increase the price point, but I think there's just a lot of people that feel like they got gypped. You know, like the the people that bought the car, the boxes feel like they paid too much for the boxes. They're not. There's not a lot a lot of room for secondary uh, value on the secondary market. Um, and then the people that bought boxes like myself, um, you know, opened up a box of pretty much nothing because it's a 700 card set. And I really think that hurt the value of Sapphire cards. So it'll be interesting to see how Sapphire performs over the next year or so. Uh, and if um, Topps does anything about that price point. 
Um, all right, on to number two in terms of cards going up. At number two, uh, yeah, and I know what you guys are thinking, Frank Oberlin, <laughs> but... Uh, this card was recently sold for $598 uh, in a PSA 6, similar to this, a beautiful copy like this. Um, I just think this is one of those cases where people are getting back into vintage, want the high-grade stuff, um, and if you can find a beautiful version of a card like this, um, you know, you are, you are definitely doing yourself a service in buying a card, a beautiful vintage card like this. Uh, this is a Piedmont. Um, but, uh, love, love, love this card. Um, yeah, but this card, part of the, the issue, I guess, with this, um, if you, you know, if you want to kind of call me out on the process that I'm doing here is that, um, there just haven't been any sales on this, uh, for a long time. So I actually had this, um, let's see, I had this at $256 for June, same price for July, same price for August, um, and then finally we saw a sale in October. So it, it might be that the value was going up, but I had nothing to judge it off of because there were no sales. And so uh, that's how this card ended it as number two on my list. At number one, uh, in terms of cards going down, probably to no surprise, Pete Alonzo in a PSA 10 um, had a tough year. His cards are <laughs> down to like $37 in a PSA 10. These cards were going for almost as high as 80 bucks. Uh, back earlier in the year, but he had a tough year. Um, he actually, you know, his numbers weren't as bad as maybe what a lot of people are thinking. Uh, if you look at his final overall stats, I thought they were pretty good. Um, but for whatever reason, people are just off the Pete Alonso bandwagon and uh, onto other things, onto other modern cards, onto vintage. And now this card could be had for as little as 37 bucks now in a PSA 10. Um, all right, and at number one, um, shouldn't come as a big surprise, is uh, Bob Gibson. And I put both of these cards at number one. Both of these cards um, from September to October are up 87 uh, and 90% uh, respectively. Um, this one in particular, his rookie card, went from an $800 card to a $1,500 card. At least there was a recent sale of uh, $1,500. I think there was actually one for $2,000. Uh, but I decided to put this at $1,500. Um, if you get a beautifully centered uh, card like this in a PSA 6, um, you might be able to get as high as $2,000 for the Bob Gibson, a card that was selling for as little as $800 bucks just a couple weeks ago. So there you have Bob Gibson. And this one uh, was going for about $76, is now up to $145. Uh, one of my favorite sets uh, the 1971 top set. So you can see here the the guys, uh, all these legendary players that recently passed away. I'm sure that probably had a lot to do uh, with the recent resurgence of vintage. Um, but uh, a lot of it also has to do with the, uh, you know, baseball season finally coming to a close. And probably Gary V saying a couple things <laughs> and directing uh, all of his followers to vintage. But anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts, guys. Uh, I always uh, I have fun doing these videos. If people are watching it, I'm going to continue to do it. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you later. Peace.